Hey everyone, I'm Jessica Dahlcourt for CNET, taking a look at the Nokia Lumia 1320, a pretty good budget phablet. It's got a six inch screen, that's what makes it a phablet. It's a super sized phone here. Now one interesting thing is that the screen has a resolution of 720p HD instead of 1080p HD that you're gonna find on the higher end versions of a phone like this, namely the Nokia Lumia 1520. Phone dimensions are large, but the rounded corners help make it appear a little bit smaller. The color I've got is this bright orange. It also comes in a bright yellow. Both of those are matte. However, if you're a little bit more buttoned down, it also comes in white and black. Pricing is really important. It's $340 off contract. And that is about half the price of what you're gonna find on a premium phablet. And that's really gonna be key when you think about the trade-offs and the features. So in addition to the slightly lower screen resolution, there's a five megapixel camera on the back, which is pretty low. It does come with flash and autofocus. And one thing I love about Windows phones is that there is a dedicated camera button. On the front, you've got a VGA front facing camera, also pretty low. It'll do the trick, but you're really not gonna wanna rely on it for a lot of video chats for a lengthy amount of time. You're gonna look pretty blurry to the person on the other end of the line. Internally, you've got a 1.7 gigahertz dual core processor. We're seeing a lot of quad core processors these days. Everything runs smoothly. It's just not gonna be the fastest for playing games compared to some other phones. There is LTE on here. You do have NFC as well, Bluetooth 4.0, and you can change in the settings, the sensitivity, so that you can operate this phone using gloves. Internal storage capacity is also on the lower end of the spectrum at eight gigabytes, but you can peel off the back cover and add a micro SD card to expand that out. On the plus side, you do have a 3400 milliamp hour battery in here, so that's gonna last you for a good long time. And of course, this phone is running Windows Phone 8 Update 3, which means that you're gonna have three columns going across the front and a couple other features as well. Nokia has added all of its software amenities on here also. You're especially gonna see those in the camera department. Now the phone itself is a little bit large. You are gonna have a hard time fitting it into smaller pockets. I did find the mat to be pretty good, although at times I also found it to be a little slippery. While you will have some features trade-offs overall, for $340, this is a feature-packed phablet that people on a budget should definitely take a look at. I'm Jessica Dahlcourt for CNET. You can check out my full review at CNET.com.